Yep, you're seeing this right. No XP, no armor, and nothing in my inventory bar. Why do you think that might be? Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Legacy SMP server. How are you all doing today? I'm doing really well. Are you having a great day? I hope you are. Today, we are blatantly trying to see if we can't climb ourselves up that achievements ladder that people have basically been swapping places with the last few months and it's a little bit scary. I am also a little bit worried about this boss bar going out the top of our screen. It is time, but time for what? That's that's a, a bit of a worry, I'm concerned. Anyway, let's focus in on these achievements. We are currently in eighth place, eighth. It's ridiculous, 480. Chim is catching us up way too quickly. Logic has shot past us, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Sausage down in fifth, that's hilarious. I'm gonna see if I can't, by the end of today's episode, get myself in sixth, hot on the tail of sausage. Let's try it. Now, there are a few really simple ones that I've not yet done. For example, I need to get myself a stack of raw chicken by doing stuff like that. That would be quite useful. That would be a whole nother thing. I've got a hole here that was made by Pearlescent Moon about five minutes ago. Amazing, she did it live on stream. That was hilarious. And I also need to get myself across to the nether because I've not done some basic stuff. I've never been in a nether fortress and I've not killed a blaze with snowballs. These are ones that we can knock off really quickly. I also need to get myself brewing of a few potions. I need a water breathing potion, which means I need to go and fish for a few of uh, fishes. I need to capture myself things like a clownfish. I mean, come on, how have I not done that yet? There are some proper simple ones that I can knock off the list pretty quickly. But then there's also some really quite nasty ones. And one of those I want to do fairly soon. And that is fly into 10,000 blocks in the air. However, my elytra needs a bit of a fix first. So I've got myself a regen potion here. Now I don't know whether I've got to brew it and drink it or whether or not just drinking it will do. So I'm gonna give it a drink. That's the one. Okay, that one has given me hyper healing. Happy about that. That's one down already. We're one closer to germ. Another, what, 39 to go? Let's crack on. And if we're successful in a decent amount of time, maybe, just maybe, I can try and put the build up that I was hoping to be able to put around the other side of this, just about there. I wanna do something just there, where the target is. No one needs a target anymore. So I wanna put something up there that will echo this fella here. I need to get a few bits and pieces to be able to do that. But it's something I've wanted to do for about a month now. And if I've got time, we'll do that at the end. If I've not got time, we'll do it in the next episode. I'm gonna to get to it eventually. Hmm, bread. Anyway, first off, I'm gonna go and do myself a little bit of fishing because there are at least three things attached to fishing that I've not done yet. But what I'm gonna do first is see if I can't enchant up this fishing wood with things like luck of the sea and lure, and maybe even a little bit of mending. So here's my luck of the sea. I'm gonna grab him. What are you, oh my goodness. You're a little bit expensive, aren't you? Hang on, I need to, I need to get me, I need to get me emeralds. You're expensive, fella, but I'll take you anyway. We'll have one of you. Uh -huh. Lovely, that's him. One luck of the sea book. I also want lure. Lure would be good. Have we got a lure? Oh, and also need a mending. We'll sort this out. That's three enchantments on the fishing rod. Here we go, look, luck of the C3, lure three and mending. And as a result, we've whapped up our elytra right up to 374, which is gonna give us the opportunity to fly really, really high. In fact, maybe we'll do that bit next. There is no time like the present. So let's get ourselves up in the air. We need to go 10,000 blocks. F3 engaged. Here we go. Let's see how high we can't get. I'm hoping I don't burn through too many of these. So we've just gone past 3,000 on the Y. I think this is as high as I've ever flown ever in Minecraft, so this is a bit weird. And I've just managed to go through an entire stack of rockets and we've barely moved our X or Z position. We're literally going straight up. This could still take a while longer. Over halfway, X and Z still have barely moved. But why, it's, it feels like it's going slower the higher we go. I'm sure that's not the case. Maybe that's just my mind playing tricks on me. Do you think if I hadn't slept, the phantoms would be attacking me this high up? That wouldn't be good, because it's night time and I'm a little bit scared. I'm really glad I'm not taking a slow falling potion as well, because you can imagine it would take me four days to get back to the ground again. 
We are almost there, 9,800, 9,900, just about. Let's creep ourselves just above 10,000. There we go, Ad Astra. Literally, I'm proper scared. Now, how much have I got on the old wings? We should be okay. I've got an astronaut's helmet, though. That's always good. Uh, now, I'm going to be gliding down and end up losing myself without knowing remotely where the ground is. Oh wait, I'm just going to point myself straight down a thing and hopefully I won't die too much. I think this is how that bloke felt when he lobbed himself off of that satellite with a parachute with free fall. There's nothing here. I'm literally, I'm just falling. My X and my Z, they're not moving. I'm just going down on the white, straight down. There is nothing underneath me. And the ground is coming into view right now and like the peanuts, that one is salted. I can now go and get a little bit of fishing done. I might go to sleep first and put my space helmet away. And like any Eskimo, did you not know that I'm like a quarter Eskimo? Yeah, seriously, honest. I'm gonna do my fishing off of the ice. And the main reason for that is because then I can collect up with my silk touch, pick a load of the different ice as well and get another challenge. We're on it today, people. managed to get ourselves up to 508 we're almost at germ and python isn't much further in front sausages a mile ahead but we're not going to worry about that right now we've got pop tart cats and pearlescent moon fighting it up at the top but slice slime ain't far behind and logic has definitely got all of them in his sights i think i'm just going to go for german python at the minute but 508 508 it's not too bad for my next trick i have got a few things i've got to do in that structure behind me now the first thing I've got to do, I think, is cheat a little bit because if I can fly 
onto the top of it, I think that counts as one of the achievements. I'm not entirely certain, but we're going to give it a go anyway. See if we can't land on this fella here. There we go. Out of posts. There we go. So that's given us pillager outpost. We like that a lot. I also need to shoot these fellas with this crossbow. So let's see if I can hit one and give me a thing there as well. Nope, that's not worked. Okay, we are drawn. We are ready. I need to shoot him. Does that count? Or is it... Oh, no, they've not worked. They've not worked. Maybe I have to properly kill one with them. I'm not sure. Maybe it's kill it. Maybe it's kill it. Let me come around and see if I can't kill one with one. That's the whole idea. Bang. That's that. This could be this could be uncomfortable. This could be uncomfortable. They're all coming for me. Right, so I didn't bring a shield either. What kind of fool am I? Okay, why didn't I bring a shield? Why didn't I bring a shield? I think I need to do a runner. Or at least get away a little bit and eat something. This is not working. Oh, I did get a pillager head though. Oh, actually, if I kill a monster... Well, no, they're still coming. If I kill this fella with a pillager head on, I think... I think that's also another one that I've not got yet. Let me just run away a little bit faster. They can't fly and I can. Right, if I put this head on... They'll definitely recognise me. I appreciate that. But I think... Let's get this one done. I think if I shoot... No, that's appalling. Am I going to run out of arrows? I've only got 15 arrows left. That's not good. I'm a lousy shot with a crossbow. Got it. Right, now I can probably do this last fella without too much trouble, he says. Famous last words. Ha-ha! I had to kill him. That's what we're talking about. Look. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Now we're farming. That's that one done. Now there is another location I've got to go and suss out and that is a lot further away. In fact, it's so far away that I need to come on top of the nether to be able to get there. We are going, both numbers going up. Okay, that is good. Let's get ourselves up in this direction. Hopefully we won't bump into the wither that Pearl left. For goodness sake, Pearl, what are you trying to do to us? And uh, we'll get to where we need to be soon enough. I don't know if there's a portal there or not, because I don't know whether or not it's been sorted. Let's see. Now, rather usefully, there is already a portal sat waiting for me. However, that does also mean that it's utterly pillaged as well. So let's just go through it, because there's a couple of things I want to try and get. And we should be... Yes, we are. We should be just above... A mansion can you see there we're above the mansion let's just come down and float down onto the mansion this should give us the being in a mansion thing if we can get inside here that is obviously there was a hole over here that is one way to get in and we are inside house of psychos we are now inside the house of psychos always a worry let me just is there anything worth having let's grab this stuff that's might as well have that right you never have too much string that's the theory now i am looking as to whether or not there are any whatsoever any any mobs left is there literally even a single vindicator left inside here i don't reckon there is but if there is we're gonna go and have a little chat with him hmm. i'm gonna search around i'm not hopeful lime has decimated this place no nope. He's had them all, nothing but a creeper and three skeletons, but not to worry, I'm not surprised. He, he's, a, he's quite a thorough individual, is Mr. Lime. So I guess we'll go back up. We got the one that we were after anyway. I'm just gonna have to wait for my Johnny Tag for another day. Let's get back, because we've got one other place that I need to go that's got loads of stuff that we can get on with. Let's get ourselves through here. We are coming up into the nether. I have got my golden boots on. We hopefully, I think I've got everything I need. This could go horribly wrong, but let's see. Let me just put my shield in place. Yes, I am using a shield. Would you actually believe it? And let's see what's on the other side. There's a few things that I should be able to get relatively easily and some other things that are going to be a lot more tricky. First off, what I need... Where's my... need a pick. I'm going to take this because I think if I get this and then I replace it down, I think... 
that gives me another one. And command sorted. I need to get some glowstone. There's some up there. Um, and quite a lot of other stuff. So let's crack on with that. Don't you look at me like that. I also need to come and speak to you and your mates very shortly. Yes, you. And go and find a mate because I need to go and get a few bits to make you happy too. that didn't exactly end the way I wanted it to. I ended up in a big pool of lava trying to fight off magma cubes to get a stack of magma cream. Didn't quite go the way I wanted to and everything is now gone. Elytra, best bow, sword, armor, the lot, all in the drink. I am sad. This is a picture of me, sad, and maybe very slightly broken. What it means is we have got to start again. We've got to enchant our bow, our sword, our armor. We've got to get the same stuff that we had before and maybe keep cracking on with a few more of these achievements. I am, yeah, I'm not optimistic that we're going to get to where we need to be. So I've got some books that I've already had enchanted up. I've got a few little bits already that were in my kind of my emergency rations. I need to get myself an elytra. I need to make myself some more rockets because I was holding all of them, but we'll kind of get back to an almost semblance of being there. And I've not got much further to go. I'm only one point behind Germ right now. I can't believe one point behind and end up going in the hot drink. Amazing. We look like we're pretty well stocked with elytras, so I don't feel bad about nicking one of them. Oh, 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 stuff in there. Oh, I can't take that. That's, can I take that? Is, that? is that allowed? Is that even allowed to take that bow? It is now. I'm having that bow. Thank you very much for whoever's put that bow there because that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Now I'm getting very excited about potentially nicking a few of these bits as well. I do need a silk touch pick as well, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to nick any more. I'm going to go and get the other stuff myself. I just realised I've not worn out a diamond pickaxe yet. That's a free one there. Basically just keep digging and who knows what else I might end up with once I get there. See, sometimes it's worth just digging because you end up with stuff like that. I mean, it's not a lot of shinies, but there's three. I'm going to go back and I'm going to sort out my fortune pickaxe and then I'll be able to get some more shinies out of it as well. Now, somehow I've managed to get myself lost in some underground, rivery, watery wetness, which is not really good when you're hoping to not drown. Fortunately, I've got aqua affinity and stuff like that on my hat, but... Mm. I'm a little bit concerned. It's still not going to stop me from dying a lot. Oh, 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 hang on a minute. Maybe this will stop me from dying a lot, though. Fortunately, the creepers don't much like coming into the water. So let's just keep popping them out that way. And they will die. And maybe that dungeon up there has got something interesting in it as well. Don't know. Don't care, actually, right now. I'm so depressed about having lost all my stuff. I'm not entirely sure what to do myself. I didn't actually mean to come in here. I'm now... Hmm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get myself lost. It's normally how it works. And I've got nine blocks left, and this thing is toast. And that is another one. And that brings me up level to germ, I think, at 520. Well, it's taken long enough to get here, but... Well, at least we're joint with Germ. We need one more just to get ahead of him. It's just occurred to me that I've probably got enough quartz to be able to do quartz blocks. If I pop that there, 53. Yeah, I should have enough. Bang. And that is quartz miner, which takes me one ahead of Germ. Objective achieved. Well, I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to there. 521, I was hoping to get up to maybe towards 540, but I got completely duped in the nether. There's at least 10 more, if not even more than that, that I can get in the nether once I've tooled myself back up again. But no time for that now. We have managed to come to the end. I've not managed to do the build either. So hopefully next episode we'll get that one done as well. I'm having a nightmare today. If you have enjoyed that video, please remember to slap that like button. It's good to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not already done it, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.